Hi guys, Nikki here from Angela Holtz Designs. Um, today I'm going to bring you another etchel uh, project, um, but this one is a video tutorial rather than the uh, picture tutorial which I've done on my blog. We are using the large bottle of etchel creme cream um, because as you can tell it does a big area and is really useful for um, covering pieces especially if you want to get things like this which is quite detailed I've already put the peel offs on um, oh. hold on This is one of the ones I used for the birds, just so people can actually see what I mean by peel-offs. Um, I think other people call them outline stickers, that basically when you take it off, as you can see you have a little bug ladybird. focus on that very well but some of them you get more detailed as you can see here at the bottom this piece and these hearts have got quite a lot of detail on them and I've just put the little hearts in there just to sort of give it a nice finish and I've added a couple of little birds so as I say, we're using the big bottle today. Now, one of the things with the actual cream and the dip is the more you use it, um, and of course, you know, you put it back into the pot when you've left it for your, the 15 minutes, as you can see, it's quite sort of chocolatey. Um, and that's quite normal. That's what happens, you know, as you use it, it changes colour. But at the same time, it does not actually change the effect it has. It is just as good as if it was a brand new bottle that had never been opened. So we're going to basically, I'm going to dip the whole pot, the whole vase. Keep it nice and thick if you can. The thicker the better. Especially over the areas that you want um, to have a pattern. So you just cover it entirely all the way around yeah. now here comes the fun bit <laughs> might actually have been easier to have done this a different way <laughs> oh damn It doesn't matter too much if it does pop out of the onto the floor on um, onto the card because it won't do anything to the card. So there we go, and as you can see, the front has got quite a lot. Of cream on the front. Don't keep playing with it though, because it does start etching as soon as it um, hits the glass. 
and you put it all back in your pot. Right, I shall leave that for the acquired 15 minutes. Um, so I shall be back when I'm done. See you soon. Right guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see, it still has the cream on it. Um, I'm just going to scrape it off and put it, oops, put it back in the pot. And look at where I've got my scraper. You want to get as much back in that pot as you can. Because you don't want to lose all of it when you wash it. that all off. Right, I should be back in a moment. I'm just going to go and wash it off. So be back in a minute. Right, I'm back. Just clean my bottle up a bit. I can use that piece again for the actual right a couple of the bits have um, already started to peel off so that's not too horrendous do that so you can see it properly uh, you can just see where the pattern was at the bottom there but I'm now going to take off the other pieces for you. You can't reuse the peel-offs after this. Because um, I think most, mainly because they lose their stick because where you've washed the actual off. There is a link at the bottom for the actual shop online, uh, their Facebook group, which you must go and have a look at some of the amazing things people have done. And of course, the Angela Holtz new shop. Hopefully, maybe if I take that out of the way. You can see just the detail of the little birds and that it's left behind. There's some really fine detail. Um, it doesn't help <laughs> having... Uh, it's easier for you to see if it's done on a mirror than on a glass. And the rest of it is just all nice and plain and if you put coloured water in there that, and decorate the top it'll look quite nice sitting in a bathroom or even on your dressing table so once you've taken all them bits off I use kitchen roll um, mainly because I find it does a better job with both mirror and glass. I'm stuck to all the birds. But just to give it a 
sorry, quick polish. And also it just makes it sure it's all fully dry. And it just gives it a bit more of a shine. So I won't be doing anything else with this one, I'll just be putting it with my collection of pieces that I've been making. I'm no I actually I am. I'm gonna put some ribbon or something around the neck. Wood colour. a wide ribbon. You actually have two ways you can do this. If you can do a nice neat bow on the front. If you can't it doesn't matter you can always use the other way which is to glue the ribbon at the back at the front. Yeah, we'll do it the other way so you can see what I mean. First we straighten the edges of the ribbon and then a little piece of hot glue that's stuck. bits everywhere. And now you can tidy your edge up on the ribbon and seal it. Just fold it. Maybe a little bit bigger. So you just fold it in half and then over on itself again. Cut the ribbon just under that piece, the bent piece there. You can singe the ends again, just uh, it just stops the ribbon fraying. Um, there's a few ways you can actually do this. Uh, you can sew it. Uh, one of the ones I find quickest is a little bit of this tape because this tape is so sticky. <laughs> it's perfect for this sort of job. Stick a little piece right in the middle there. And then pull, scrunch that up a bit like that. Bring the rest of it over. The pieces start to come off. Yeah. Only problem is that red st stuff does stick to you. Bring it up nice and tight. And there you go, you have a little bow. Put him there. And you've got a choice of a flower or a button or something. I'm going to stick the little burgundy rose right there. And 
don't worry about the string you can use Angie's technique which I thought was quite rather good it's uh, basically you take a heat gun and you um, blitz over the project and all your um, strings of hot glue have all disappeared there we go just added a little bow with a little flower and as you can see that's it nothing too difficult nice and simple and just makes it look nice and pretty right okay thank you darlings hopefully you'll stop by again um, I have some more ideas on to play with the etchel cream um, and I shall be bringing all of them to YouTube videos um, rather than the tutorials on my blog because it's a lot easier this way for you to see um, and please pop along to the Bling Chronicles on Facebook which is Angie's group uh, connected to all the projects the DT do um, you've got Rhonda you have Debbie you have Itza Stephanie myself and of course Miss Angela Holt herself um, so do please pop along and join in the fun and hope to see you soon bye